Okay, girls, you got that one pretty easy. So let me give you a hard one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a hard word. Oh, okay. Alpar. One word. One word. One word. Your, wallet. your wallet, your money. 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 Ooh. Ooh okay. Oh, she's paying for it, girl. The prostitute. Is it like oh, a worm? What's it? What's it? Oh, girl. Is she leaving? Is she hungry? Oh, girl, she hungry. Look at her. Help her. Oh, can't feed her enough anywhere. It's a gun? Oh, Banana. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I get it. Girl. It's a condom. Yes! Girl, you're just trashy. You're just rugged. Oh, and you know we love it rough and hard and natural. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink right now. Barbie, come, come get a drink with me. <gasps> Girl, she in trouble. Stir. Ooh, nice cup, honey. So I just wanted to have a little chat about why you made those comments about using condoms when we were playing the game earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, girl, you know me, I like a nice, hard, smooth, and rough one. Oh, girl, why you gotta be so rugged? Well, you know, it's important that we understand that we should be able to use condoms when mm -hmm. we're having anal sex or oral sex, just to keep ourselves safe. Oh, girl, with all the chemicals down my throat. Oh, I know, I know. You know, people often say that, but, you know, those chemicals are safe. And there are also other options to use um, to keep yourself safe as well. It's important that we begin to talk about safer practices for our people of utilizing condoms in order to keep us safe, but also in order to keep our relatives and friends safe. It's very important as well that we also have these open and honest conversations, not only with our friends, our relatives, or those that we might wanna hook up with because better informed people make better informed decisions. unprotected sex, it might be a good idea to get tested. Girl, do you think I'm trashy and dirty? No, no, there's not that stigma. It's just all about protecting yourself, you know, from an STD. And it's always important if you're, you know, playing around a lot of times with multiple partners to get tested at least maybe two to three months. Oh, girl. Tell me more. Like syphilis, gonorrhea, or chlamydia. We're hearing that those STDs are really high in our community, particularly among our young native LGBT2 spirit. Really? Yeah, so we need to set an example as aunties, as drag queens, to get tested regularly. And it's just a part of the routine. You go in and you ask for tests. And also I would encourage you to get an HIV test while you're there as well. Can I go under my own drag name? Yes, yes. You can go with us. A bunch of us girls go down to the clinic often and we just get tested in Kiki. Girl, I don't want to go to the IHS. You might run into Etta over there. I'm well, sick of her. Miss Etta can't be disclosing your patient information publicly. She's just a nosy one. We just got to remind her that she's not able to do that and she may get in trouble for it. Sounds like a plan. Well, there's another option I'd like for you to consider, Vivi. That is taking PrEP. Girl, what is PrEP? PrEP is pre-exposure prophylactic. It's a daily pill that one takes to help to stop the transmission of HIV. We'd like to encourage individuals to get on PrEP, but also to continue to practice safe sex so you are not at risk of contracting HIV. Melanie Moore from the Navajo Nation. I'm Linda Lakes from the Chickasaw Nation. I am Buffalo Barbie from the Navajo Nation. Hi, I'm Sei Chanel from Norman, Oklahoma. I'm Shawnee Ponca Oto in Lakota Sioux. My name is Eartha Quake, and I'm from the Navajo Nation. Native people should feel empowered about their sexual health because knowing your status is liberating. Because sex is beautiful. 
sex is not shameful. Because it's beautiful. Life is beautiful, sex is beautiful. Because sex is love. 